Welcome, I'm Mr. Kimball and this is your Flipped Classroom. Test, test. All right. We're going to do a flipped classroom this year, and so we'll talk about uh, the things that are going to happen at home and the things that are going to happen here in the classroom. While we're at home, you are an individual. You should be watching videos, taking notes, working through practice problems, and this is the learning that would typically happen in the classroom, in a traditional classroom. We are flipping this model and you're gonna do this stuff at home. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to watch these videos, take some notes, and at least copy down the examples that I go through. And then try some practice on your own. And if you get it, great. My job's done, easy peasy. You've learned how to learn on your own and that's a very powerful thing to do. If you don't get it, then you're about to go to the classroom in the next day, maybe two days, and you're going to have an opportunity to sit down with me in a small group setting and go through these uh, independent examples. And I can provide more examples and we can do this as long as you need until you reach a level of understanding where you can pass the quizzes and discuss intelligently on the boards and progress to the next step. Okay. Now, if you don't do this stuff at home, you're gonna to come to class, and I, I'm not gonna be very helpful when I help you. I will try to be, but I need you to do your part and make an attempt and come with some background knowledge and ask questions that I can help answer. It's very hard for me to just fix all your problems if I don't even know where you're going wrong. I need to see your work. If I am just looking at an answer where you write some gobbledygook and it's just kind of random and you have like a couple numbers on there and then you come to me in the classroom and you throw up your hands and say, I don't know what happened. I'm gonna be like, well, where's your work? Can I see what, how you thought through this problem? What equation did you start with? Did you replace the numbers uh, in the correct variable, pos variable positions? A lot of things that could go wrong, and I need that information by looking at your work to diagnose the problem. So it's really important that you watch the videos, take good notes, and go through the practice problems. After you do that portion, which I would expect would take maybe uh, five to ten minutes, we're going to try and keep these videos short. After that, you're going to have a discussion post. You're going to find out I can't spell. where you're going to ask a good question. And you're going to start a dialogue about this concept or these types of problems. After that, I will have some kind of practice. This should be easy to medium to hard. And this is going to help us understand at what level do you understand it? The easy questions are going to be just like what I did in the lesson. Same examples, different numbers, right? The medium questions are going to ask you to go one step further. It might be very similar type of problem, but I may have added an angle or a different dimension to it. And then a hard problem, they're hard. Um, they take it even further to applications. So, this is what you're going to be expected to do while you're at home and then come to class and we'll bring it all together. So here in the classroom we've got a few items that we're going to tackle. What we're going to do in class is we're going to handle all of the lab activities and further practice and we'll start some discussions and use the material. The first thing about a regular classroom is that you know typically you'd come to class and you'd be lectured at for 20 minutes or so maybe 40 minutes in some classes 
and then I'd give you a couple examples and I'd take any questions that you might immediately have and you don't really have a lot of time to work through um, the, the learning and sometimes I might go too fast on the notes and, and you might not get good notes and so I would send you home and say hey go do this more difficult homework at home by yourself and you just struggle and shut down because you can't figure it out on your own. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip that model. The other thing that we like to do is do labs in class and activities and sometimes we run a little short on time and they're rushed and you don't quite get a chance to think through them and so what this will do is it'll free up some space as a group in the class to handle those longer lab activities and give you a little bit more time to process and think through and ask questions about um, applied physics. So at home you're going to do this and in class you're going to do labs, ask questions, get individual help, um, and other more difficult concepts. So I hope you're ready for a flipped learning experience and I hope it's going to be beneficial to you.